Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, you know, just you know, kind of keep hope alive. You know, for uh, to make a run with these last three games for the tournament. That's what that's what this game was. You know, especially after losing Marquette. Only 11 minutes against Marquette Lance. Did that kind of fuel your fire to get you back in the groove? It looked like you were a lot more aggressive and attacking the basket tonight. Yeah, it just made me uh, want to go to the gym more. I stayed in the gym at 2 o'clock yesterday and I just kept working on my stuff to try to be perfect uh, for today's game. <clears throat> yeah, see, is this a little bit, bit of redemption for you guys uh, from what happened last year in the, in the Big East tournament? Oh, yeah. Um, well, this is a little bit, you know, it was still in the back of our heads. We, uh, a couple of us talked about what, what happened last year in the Big East tournament, you know, uh, with DePaul not winning any games and then finally winning one against us. But, you know, we just kind of didn't want to lose this game at all, not only just for last year, but, you know, we're working for our season this year. Lance, you said you were in the gym until 2 o'clock. Yeah, 2 o'clock. Good morning. Yes, Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, what, were you, what were you working on? I was working on my jump shots, uh, coming off uh, picks and curling and fading shots. And what? Like when I fade off a pick. This morning or yesterday? Last night. Uh, you ever done that before? I did it about three times, but I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it more to get better. This is the first time it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Little time. How do you rate that dunk? Huh? You're a judge. What do you put up? Ten. We put up ten. <laughs> Yancey, you didn't get to play the end of the Marquette game either. Mick said because of your defense. Did that also kind of fire you up to come out tonight? Um, you know, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I was a little fresher than others. You know, from not playing at the end of the game. But you know, um, you know. I, you know, that was just a decision, I guess, he went with it. And it did fire me up a little bit, you know, to come out and play a little harder defense. Jump shot working today, is that something, it, it just, does it just come and go, or are you starting to feel a lot more comfortable, you know, 12, 15 feet out? Uh, you know, I work on it all the time in practice. I think it was just, you know, open today. You know, it may not be open against West Virginia or anything, you know, uh, but I, I, I try to work on it in practice that way. If I am open for a shot in the game, I'll have confidence to shoot and knock it down. Do you guys really believe that you have a, a chance to still play in the end of the tournament? Yeah, we do. Uh, with the end of our schedule, we played three ranked teams. And uh, we, we still had a big East tournament with a good showing. We feel that we uh, still have a chance to uh, slide our way back in to the NCAA tournament. How much better do you guys have to play, though, just to finish the next three games? Oh, we have to play uh, extremely harder and better than we've been playing here lately. You know, it's going to take a huge push from the whole team. You know, not just a couple players is going to involve everybody to uh, make it happen. But we, we feel that we uh, have the players to do that. Lance, you guys were out on the run a little bit more today. Was that in the game plan or was that just opportunity, ball comes out and you and Cash take it and go? Yeah, uh, I've been trying to do that, but I've been, I haven't been uh, rebounding that good. Uh, I've just been like, going, to, to, going to the rebound more harder than what I usually have been and trying to get a uh, fast break to get somebody open or create a shot for me. If you were in the gym until 2 a.m., what time did you start? 11. Three hours? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Nice. Take me through the dunk and what, talk about what that does for the momentum and maybe for your own confidence doing something like that. Uh, I don't know. The, the, I just went to the, to the basket hard. Uh, I know I could dunk on people, but I just just went hard and jumped. And he just lifted me up a little bit higher than I was supposed to be. Two more questions. You tried to get him again in the second half, didn't you? Yeah, but he pushed me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't make a three-pointer, and you shot free throws pretty bad again. I mean, is there any, I don't know, if there's, there's a secret to it. You know how to correct it, the free throw shooting. How much does that bother you going into these last three games? Oh, that's... That's bothered all of us a lot because, you know, we go through the drills and things where we have to make them in practice and, you know, we make them for the most part. And then, you know, especially like when we see Tay miss a free throw or, uh, you know, Deion Dix, and those are two of them. Those are two players that in practice that probably won't miss a free throw. And, you know, uh, I know it's frustrating for them, but, you know, it's kind of difficult when you come out and you see those guys missing free throws also. So is it a mental thing now? I think it is. I think that's what it's coming down to. You know, we just got to be more confident 
as a line, and, you know, trust that, trust our stroke, you know, so it'll go in. Last question for the guys. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. You go 2 a.m. before West Virginia.